Hello, my name is Nancy Strickland, and in the next seven minutes, I'm going to show you how to connect to and consume web services in Windows Phone 7 Silverlight apps. Silverlight client applications in Windows Phone 7 often need to access services from external sources. Those services can be SOAP services created using the Windows Communication Foundation, WCF, or it could be another SOAP-based technology, or they can be plain HTTP or REST services. Silverlight clients can access these web services directly, or in the case of SOAP services, using a proxy that's generated from the metadata that the service publishes. A service could be hosted on your own server, a service that you've written and you're hosting in-house, or it could be a third-party server where you can access the service but you don't have the source code, or it could be in the cloud on Windows Azure and that could be either written by you and placed in the cloud or it could also be by a third party. Silverlight can work with several data formats that are used by services. That includes XML and JSON and RSS and Atom. The access to the data service can be done with serialization or linked to XML or linked to JSON or with syndication components. There are obviously a lot of different possible combinations of protocols and data formats and hosts and technologies here. In this short video, I'm only going to show you one option, but I'll give you links to a couple of other good examples at the end of the demo. I'm going to use a Windows Azure service for this demo. You could use the other types of services I mentioned, but Windows Azure is a cool new technology, so we're going to go with that. I'm going to create this very quickly because this video focuses on the phone client, not the service. So I'm just using the default service that's created when you use a cloud service with the WCF service app template in Visual Studio 2010. Now I've created a new project and I'm selecting the WCF service web role and clicking the button to move that over into the cloud service. At this point you have service one service there and you could modify it. You could add other methods or you could change what's here. I'm just going to leave it, which means I have a method called getData that takes an integer argument and returns a string. It doesn't do anything, but it proves that your input was received and it returns something that you can display in the client. So now I'm going to run it. Running it starts the development fabric running, and the development fabric is a local version of Azure that I can use for testing locally. You can see that it opens a browser pointing to 127.001 port 81, but of course it's a service, so there's no user interface here, just information on the service. Now I'm going to copy that URL, and then I'm not going to close the browser. I'll minimize it and let it still keep running. You could do this in a regular WCF service also. If you're not using Azure, your URL would be different. And now let's see how to write the client for it. I'm going to open a new instance of Visual Studio. And I'm going to create a new project. And this time I'll select Silverlight Phone Application as the type. Now the reason that these templates are available to me is that I did some setup previously. So if you haven't already done that setup, there's a video called Getting Started that's part of this Windows 7 phone series and it'll show you how. First I need to add a reference to the service I wrote so I'm going to right click references in the Solution Explorer choose Add Service Reference and then paste in that URL. Then I'll click Go so I can see that my service is there. There it is and if I expand that I can also see from my interface that GetData method is available to me. Okay, now I'm going to go to the design view and to my toolbox and I'll drag a button onto the design surface. Now I'm going to double click to get its click event. Before I program the click event, I need to add a reference to that service. So I type in my service reference, there's my service client. And now I need to write the code to call the get data method. Now all calls to services from a Silverlight phone are always asynchronous, so that's actually get data async, and it takes an integer argument, so that's it. Now that method's going to be called, and at some point the data will return. 
And at that point, the get data completed event will be raised, and I'll need to react to it with the handler. But I need to have the handler already set up before the call is made. So I've moved here before that line of code I just wrote, and I'm going to insert a line to set up the handler. First, I'm going to type the event, which is get data completed, and then I'll type the plus equals. And now Visual Studio helps me out. I just have to push tab twice and it'll complete this delegate line but it'll also add the handler method for me. And I can go down into the handler and replace that not implemented exception with a simple little line to show the result that was returned from the call to the service. And that result is in the event args variable e. It's the result property of that event args. And it's just a string so it's very easy to work with in a message box like this. And that's all there is to it. In this very simple case, it's very simple to do. So I've run it here. It normally takes a few seconds for the emulator to get started and then deploy the app. Okay, it's deployed now. I'm going to click the button on my emulator using my mouse. And there's my result. Now let me point you to a couple of other much more detailed examples that will show you how to access services in other ways. The first link here has a great weather application that you can download along with several other very good sample apps. There are several Twitter apps for Windows Phone 7 that are already out there. The one I like best that I've seen so far is Scott Guthrie's at this next link. And then if you want to know more about Windows Azure, this last link is a good place to start. And also there are a couple of dozen videos on MS Dev that are about Azure. So just go to msdev.com and do a search for Azure. So that was a quick look at consuming web services in a Silverlight phone app. I'll put a copy of the code up on my blog for download, and as I post new videos, I announce them on Twitter. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.